Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rosie. If you are new here, please do hit that subscribe button. It's really great to have more people joining me and subscribing and kind of growing my channel. I'm really enjoying it. So today I'm going to be unboxing a Herschel rucksack. Now I bought this because myself and my husband are going to be going traveling very, very soon in the next couple of months. And I wanted a day bag that I can take on hikes with me and kind of pack everything in there in one place. So I got the 25 litre, I believe it is, Herschel rucksack in a grey colour. Now when this came, it came in this humongous box. I mean this, it doesn't even fit in frame, it's huge. This arrived and I was like, I have no idea what this is. And then this bag arrived in this plastic bag. So I've taken it out of the bag, um, which was just a plastic bag it came in. And this is the bag, how it arrived. Now, I really wanted to kind of film myself unboxing this and looking at this for the very first time because I'd read reviews of it being fake and it not being great quality and kind of things breaking. I also wasn't sure about the size in terms of how big I would need it. Um, so I kind of thought I would film my unboxing and my first impressions of this bag. Now, since buying this, I received this a couple of days ago. Me and Jeremy have talked about potentially doing one bag travel where basically you have one backpack that's like 40 litres and everything is in there. So in that case, I wouldn't probably have a bag like this. So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it just for that reason, even if I like the bag or if I don't like the bag. I'm not sure I'm going to keep it just because we might do one bag travel it, like instead of doing a huge rucksack and then this is my day bag. So I kind of wanted to review it anyway and open it and see what it's like. Whether I keep it or not, I'll decide in a couple of days, I guess. Um, so yeah, I just thought I would show you. So I went for the grey. Um, I'll leave the exact colour and link to mine in the description box below. But this is, oh, it says 23.5 litre. I thought it was 25 litres. Okay, it's 23.5 litres. Good to know. It's got a little tag on here, which is just what I'm looking at. So I got this grey colour with this tan brown fake leather straps. Now, the reason I went for this is because, first of all, I think it's cute. <laughs> I quite like the design feature of this. It's kind of like an old hiking bag. Um, I really like the colours. I was going to go for an orangey tone, but a lot of my wardrobe at the moment is turning orange. And I thought a grey would be good because it would go with white, black and also lots of different colours in terms of blues, greys, oranges, yellows, pinks, whatever I tend to wear. I feel like grey will just go with everything. Now this is actually quite a bit bigger than I thought it would be. Like I said, it's 23 and a half litre, so it's quite big. Um, the straps seem pretty padded, which is great as well. And the back here has some padding. So I'm really happy with that. I kind of wasn't sure what to expect. And it's got a little top handle here. It's also got a microphone thing here in case you have... You know people used to have an iPod <laughs> and have the iPod in the bag and the headphones coming out of here? That's for that, but I'm never going to use that honestly. That's not something I'm into, honestly. Um, but yeah, so overall I'm happy with the first impressions. If we open up here, so this looks like it's buckles, but it's actually just poppers. So these should, yep, pop it off. And this front section here has a red and white stripe underneath, which I think is really cute. And it's got a zip for the front pocket. And again, it's striped on the inside as well, if you can see that. So that would be great just for things like your phone, your passport. Obviously, you need to be careful if it's on your bag, on your back, I mean. So that should, you know, it could be dangerous having things in there. But I think it's nice to have a little front pocket anyway for receipts, maybe, or anything kind of small you can just put in there. And again, these ones pop off even though it looks like a buckle. And the inside is red and white striped, so that's great. It's got this drawstring, so you can tighten that up and close it, or you can obviously loosen it as well, which I think is quite good in terms of if you're having this as a tourist, I think sometimes zips, people can you know, get into them quite easily, whereas something like a drawstring, you would have to notice somebody opening it, opening the drawstring and then putting their hand in. It's different to a zip where you can kind of zip it open you know, if you're on a busy train, for example, you can kind of pretend to push, push into somebody and open their zip. So I think it's kind of a little bit safer. Um, it's probably not the safest in terms of traveling, but I think it's safer than zip bags. And then on the inside, it's got, okay, so it's got a small little side pocket here. I'll try and get a video footage of that. It's got a small little side pocket this side and this side, which does up with Velcro. It has got a laptop sleeve that apparently fits a 15 inch laptop. So I'm gonna try that now actually. So this is my MacBook Pro 15 inch. I'm gonna see if that fits in there, which it does easily. I don't know if you can see, there's my laptop and there's still this much space above it, so that's fine. And it's 
it's slightly padded, yes, and it's got a little bit of kind of soft material in there to keep that nice and protected, I guess. I probably would put my laptop in a sleeve and then pop it in there just for double protection, but that seems good that there's that space there anyway. But apart from that, it's just a big hole, basically. It's a big bucket <laughs> where you can put everything in there. Now, even though that could be a good thing, that could also be a bad thing, because it means that things can just get lost in there. You can put pens and umbrellas and coats and all sorts, purses, cameras, everything in there. It's, it's pretty big, it's huge. But I guess in terms of organisation, that could be a pain. Um, so otherwise though, I think it's great. I mean, the size is a lot bigger, like I said, than what I thought it was going to be. It's quite sizable, um, but I do actually really like it. So like I said, the fact that it's just a big open pocket, I also picked up this from Amazon. Again, not sure if I'm going to be keeping it because I'm not sure if I'm going to be keeping this bag. But this is a bag insert and you can actually buy these for lots of different bags, including kind of handbags, backpacks, things like that. And so I got this one because it's grey, so it'll kind of match with this. It's not the exact same colour, but it's near enough. And it's this nice soft felt material. It's got two pockets in the front here. It's got a zip pocket here. And then on the inside, it's got two pockets here. I don't know if you can see them. It's got two spaces here where you could put maybe an umbrella and a water bottle, something like that. You could pop them in there. It's got a pocket down the back here. And then it's got two pockets up here. So I kind of bought this thinking this could be ideal for having, like I said, my umbrella, a bottle of water. I could put my phone in here, my purse in here, or passport. You could put safe things in here. At least then you've kind of got, you know, somebody's got to open up these flaps. And then they've got to open this. And then they would have to open a zip inside of there. So this pocket would be super secure. Nobody's going to get in there without you knowing about it. And I think this is quite good in terms of organisation. So let's try it in the bag and see if it fits and how that looks. Okay, so that fit right in. That's perfect. There's a lot of space in there still. So it kind of comes up to maybe here. So there's still a lot of space up top for things like bags, um, for things like coats, jackets, um, cameras, anything you want to put on top. So it kind of is a little bit lost in there. I don't know if that would actually make it easy. I guess it would make it easier to find things because there are the little pockets and I think you would be able to find that easier than if it was just shoved in without this in the middle. So that's how it looks. I'll see if I can show you. So you can see that in there. Um, so yeah, I think that's kind of great. I think if you were to get this bag for school, I think something like that insert would be amazing in terms of just organisation keeping things separated, knowing where things are, because otherwise, like I said, it's a big bag where things can just get lost in there. So overall, I'm very happy with this bag. It's actually surprised me how, like the quality of the fabric, the quality of the padding seems really nice. The size is huge. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was. And it's now making me question um, our one bag idea, but in a good way, because I was thinking that 40 litres wouldn't be enough. And if this is 23 and a half so basically we'd have double this amount of space for our clothes and things for traveling I think that might actually be really good so I'm probably not going to keep this just because I would probably do the one bag thing and maybe have a small handbag or something with me so in terms of pricing I paid $86 for the bag and $18 for the insert so it's quite expensive if you're considering this for a school bag it's quite expensive, but like I said, it is huge and it's big and I think you can fit a lot of things in here. The quality seems really nice. This as well seems really nice quality. I'm kind of surprised. I thought this might be cheap and flimsy, but it's actually, you know, pretty sturdy. You can't really bend that too much, so I think that's great as well. Okay, so I'm just going to show you this backpack on in terms of size. So I'm about 5'8", five 5'9". Foot foot I'm roughly a size US size 6, UK size 10, around there. So this is how it looks on me. So it's a good size, but it's not huge. It sits quite nicely on the shoulders. I like the padding on here as well. I think that's brilliant. So this is how it looks on my back. It doesn't have any type of waistband here. So if it does get heavy, that could potentially hurt, but it does seem quite padded. So I think that might actually be okay. Um, yeah. 
So yeah, that's my verdict. Um, in terms of if I'm keeping it again, I don't really know yet, but I think if we were doing the backpack and day bag, this is definitely something I would consider. I think it's brilliant. I think the fabric's brilliant. I think I like the style of it as well, honestly, and I think it would go with so much of my outfits and my wardrobe. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope this video was useful if you're considering buying this bag as well. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up. That really helps me out. Subscribe for more videos and I will see you very soon. Bye.